Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And today, I'm going to try to bring real-life engineering into Scrap Mechanic. And we're going to see if we can actually make it work. But not exactly in the way that it's supposed to work. So, I saw this post in my Discord, which then led me to this video. So, this is the video called Rotation Transmission with 8-Bar Linkage. And what's interesting about this is I think... I can build this in scrap mechanic and it's really cool looking and functionally it's really interesting to watch. Uh, it's going to transition to a different view. There we go. This is the view I'm talking about here. And I was thinking if I did this in scrap mechanic, what would be the point? And then I realized that both of these are actually rotating in the same direction. So if these were attached to wheels, this could actually potentially create a vehicle that can roll forward. Uh, this one's this one's a little bit. This is like a broken version of it. it doesn't work quite the same The problem sometimes with building these types of mechanisms in scrap mechanic is scrap mechanic limits you to a 90 degree building grid and Oftentimes things you can see they're at angles like this, but this isn't that steep of an angle and I think this right here might be the closest we can get to like a perfect 90 degree build grid. But I was wondering, where is the power going to be sourced from? What bearing, if all of these circular points are bearings, what's going to be the powered bearing and how is it going to be powered? And then I noticed something. If you look at this very center bearing right here, look at the motion that it makes. You can see it rotates in this direction and then it rotates in this direction and then it rotates back in this direction. And that causes the wheels to continuously rotate in a single direction. So what if we could actually hook up a steering bearing from a seat to this center rotation point here? And if we just steer back and forth, we might actually be able to get a vehicle to move. That is my goal for this video. All right, so I got the image over on my other monitor and I'm going to choose light materials for this because we're going to want the least resistance as possible. I'm just really worried about this mechanism getting stuck and not working at all, but that's part of the fun of this experiment. So for weight, it looks like let's just use a standard wood block. We'll use a durable tier three wood block for this. All right, so let's see what I'm doing here. I don't know what kind of scale I want. I'm going to do like uh five blocks oh that's so big though if we're gonna make this thing i'm gonna try it with three blocks i feel like the smaller we make it though the more likely it's gonna be to mess up all right so i'm i'm totally estimating all of my dimensions and scale here but i'm gonna go with this and then we should be able to weld that to that and then do the same over here all right so then it looks like i got to extend this out by at least the same length that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just type it out by eight. I th it looks like a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna put a bearing right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh no, this is a problem. I've done this so wrong. This is not, I don't think this is gonna work out, guys. Cause uh, in the default, oh man. I don't know, let's just try this and see what happens. I'm just gonna extend this out in this direction and weld this together. And then at least I'll force these as static points and we can at least see if this works in concept. Okay, so in theory, if I just do that, I should be able to make circles. This is, guys, this isn't gonna work. I'm already so, I'm so not confident in this thing's ability to work. Okay, clearly we need to adjust the rotation degrees. Let's make it as slow as it can go. All right. Oh no. See, this is, this is why it needs to be longer. All right, let's make it a little bit longer then. Okay, so here's the issue I'm having. You can see, here's the center point here, here's the center point here, here's the center point here. These are all aligned. Now, when it comes to this bar, this bar is actually at a really steep angle when these are at 90 degree angles. This bearing right here is at a 90 degree angle. This is not a 90 degree angle. If it was, it would make this bar be on the top side. So that's what's making me think this is maybe not destined to work, but I am really gonna try to figure this out. Okay, it might not be as bad as I thought. When I let it rotate around to the other side, this is actually closer to what I was trying to build. For some reason, I had it paused on the wrong 90 degree angle over here when it's a much steeper angle. But if I, if I let it go all the way back to this side, 
This makes it feel better, but I just I just think I need more real estate, more space for the rotation to happen in here. Okay, this got a lot bigger very, very fast. I just added one more block on either of these dimensions on the middle here, and uh, it made this a lot bigger. There's, if this actually ends up working, translating this into a car is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> All right, well, it's ready. Here we go. Oh, no, it collides with itself still. All right, I made some progress, but it's not really progress because it just doesn't work. It just works slightly better than it did before. So I added these pistons to extend it past its like normal length after it spawns in. And then when I turn to the left, you can see if I, if it, there we go. We start the rotation, but then you cannot complete the rotation by turning back in the other direction. And I think this is just because on the 90 degree build grid, with everything being set to 90 degrees, there's no way for it to actually get all the way around without it conflicting with itself. It needs to be offset somehow, and Scrap Mechanic just doesn't like that. So I'm trying to figure out how to like work around it in a way that Scrap Mechanic's gonna, you know, gonna forgive me and let me do it. So here's the issue that I know is happening. You can see that when this is all 90 degrees right here on the lift, this is extending straight out four blocks from this point. One, two, three, four. But what it needs to be doing is this actually needs to be at an angle that it's gonna go three blocks and attach here. But you can't build that way on the lift. So my next solution is to do this by putting these angle blocks in here. I don't think this is gonna solve the problem, but I just wanna see what impact it has to see if I'm any closer to solving the problem. So, turn left. Oh, wait a minute. What? That was the... Oh, no way! <laughs> it solved the problem. That was literally all I had to do. That is... It's... Oh my god. It works, guys. It, it works. Hold on. Let me change the speed. I want to change the speed down slower. Really interesting. It, like, it gets stuck at that transition point sometimes which causes it to not always go all the way around which is probably also a side effect of this 90 degree build grid there we go and now we go this way and nope pull it back the other way come on come on pull it back there we go it's so like it's almost like a matter of luck which side it's going to end up rotating well what is happening what is happening Hello, 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 stop that. We're gonna make it like the actual diagram right now. For some reason, the diagram decided to use square wheels, probably because it's easier to see a square rotating than a circle. But now we should be able to see it rotate. Oh, the actually adding this weight made it work differently. Come on, rotate, continue rotating in the same direction. All right, this isn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, there we go. Now it's working. Okay, interesting. Oh, now it went backwards. It's gonna be so hard to do this once we actually apply it to wheels. But the only issue is that these wheels need to be bigger than... Come on, go forward. They need to be bigger than this distance from this point to this point here. All right, so I'm gonna have to build an 11 wide wooden wheel, which I guess should be doable. <coughs> oh, wow, this thing actually... Whoa! This thing has potential to go really... Potential... Potential. This thing has potential to go really fast, I think. It's just, can't, will it have the power once it has the weight of the vehicle on the ground? All right, this is gonna be amazing if this actually works, but the first challenge is over. The next challenge is I have to fit this entire mechanism standalone on the side of a vehicle so it doesn't interfere with itself or the ground. Guys, I think I did it. I'm just doing my testing right now. And I, this entire bar, I could just, I can go ahead and detach this. This entire bar is now the standalone mechanism and all you need to do is power this bearing with steering. All right, let's see. We got the most bare bones version of this as I can possibly imagine right here. Let's go ahead and hook this up. We hook that up to there. We hook that up to there. And I think I gotta set the bearings on like 40 degrees each. All right, let's see if we can steer ourselves. Oh, no, all right, they're already going opposite directions. Hold on. All right, now they're going identical directions. Oh, it's going. This looks so cool. This actually looks so cool. How do we steer though? How, is there a way to steer this thing? I'm using steering to go. So I'm like, 
not actually sure how to steer this. I, I can't believe it's working though. Okay, let's try to go backwards now. Look at this. This is so cool to watch. I'm, this is my controls. Look, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get back into the group of things. So there we go. What my character is doing right now is how I am going. It is a steering controlled vehicle with no steering. I mean, how do you add steering onto a thing where your propulsion mechanism uses your steering already? All right, so I'm trying to make this thing look a little bit more professional just by adding some wedges on it. You know, just a couple here and there. It should look kind of cool. All right, guys, I've added some wedge blocks. I painted it up. And while I was doing that, I got a potential idea on how to have a very, very terrible, but possibly effective steering system that does not require thrusters or anything out of the ordinary, really. So my idea is to just stop one of the sides from working. And I'm gonna do that just by extending a block out, interrupting the mechanism. All right, I built the steering, I've tested it out, and it's absolutely terrible, mostly because one side cannot compensate for the lack of momentum on the other side. But the idea is that if I press number one, it locks up that side. If I press number two, it locks up that side. So it was supposed to be, if I lock up the left side like this and then start steering, uh, the other side was supposed to go essentially turning us. But as you can see, it, it just doesn't have enough power by itself. If I unlock them now, all right, well now they're kind of in like reverse. Oh, now we're just going backwards. All right, we're just gonna go backwards now. And then I'll lock up one of the sides and you can see it kind of like it, it works a little bit and then it just freezes up because it cannot take the pressure, unfortunately, of being able to turn all this weight by itself. So it's really not that bad of a vehicle going in one direction. Um, let me try to go reverse direction now. Hold on. There we go. It's really not too bad. Sometimes it turns by itself, which is kind of interesting. There we go. Oh, you know what? You can turn a little bit if you have momentum. You can turn until you lose momentum, pretty much. All right, turn to the right a little bit more. There we go. And now, come on forward. Yes. It's just, I can't believe this mechanism is actually working as well as it's working, as far as traveling across the land, searching far and wide. It looks so cool from the side, too, to watch. I love this. All right, we're just going straight into the water now. It's, this should float. It's made out of wood. Look at that. Oh, look Look how fast it wants to go in the water. <laughs> it's completely impractical. It makes absolutely no sense. Why? Nobody asked for this. Like, it is, there's no reason why a car should be doing this. But hey, that's where my brain went when I saw this mechanism. So that's what you got, okay? I hope you guys appreciated it. This took me like an hour and a half to figure out. But was it worth it? No. No, this, 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 I'm never going to use this for anything else. But for some reason... I'm still proud that I did it. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff on the channel. So go ahead and check that out on the end screen right here. If you want to help support the channel, then check out the merch link down in the description below. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.